Okay, guys, today from the install bay, do you have a BMW? Not anymore. Well, you did. Well, for those of you out there that have a 2017, 16, whatever, 3 Series, 4 Series BMW, and it's got that wonderful fake engine noise and those awesome ANC microphones, we're going to show you what we did today in order to bypass them. So stay tuned. So we're in the back seat of this 4 Series BMW. Um, the reason why we're in the back seats, Fernando was in the front seat to rev up the motor for us because we're going to show you what the fake engine noise looks like so you have an idea of what we're dealing with here. Now, this particular 4 Series is special in that it has fake engine noise and what's called automatic noise canceling, also called ANC. Now, that is two devils. For one, if we just hook it up to the subwoofer wire, where every time you rev up the motor, the subwoofer is going to go, whoa! Two, if you were to disable the fake noise, you'd still have the ANC that is going to try to cancel the noise. So anytime it hears road noise like this, or your tire's out of balance or something like that, the subwoofer is going to repeat that. So we're going to show you what both those look like so you can have an idea. Then we'll show you how to get around it. All right, go ahead and rev it up. Rev it up again. Give it a little sustained. So those little bumps that you're seeing in, in the meter, these little ones over here, over here by my thumb, this guy, that's it trying to recreate an opposite noise of what we're giving it. So it's hearing that noise. So if you had a subwoofer in here, it would basically amplify that even more. So fortunately, most BMWs are basically built on the same idea in that on the driver's side of the car is the factory amplifier. And then what we want is the fake noise generating processor, which just so happens to also be by the amplifier. So let's take a look at that. So this guy here is what we're looking for. And it's this plug that we're going to unplug and remove. This is the noise generating amplifier. It actually says amplifier over here. Um, we can't just pull it out because if we pull it out, we'll have no sound. The way this style plug works is when it's locked, it's, it's like this. And then there's this little piece here, right here by my thumb that you have to press down and then it'll open up and lock in place like this. So there's little tabs on this end here. We just kind of want to do this and then these will slide out. Okay, so now that they're out, we can see we have a bunch of twisted pair of wires. Now what we're looking for, okay, so truth be told, we've already tested to figure out which ones work and then we decided to film a video, but we're gonna walk you through what we did to get to this point. So there's a bunch of wires here. So some of these wires are going to be coming from the radio and others are gonna be going to the amplifier. We want the wires that are coming from the radio to the device and what the hope is is that it'll be a nice, clean, variable voltage signal that doesn't have any of this nonsense attached to it that we could then come out of this and go to a amplifier. So, there again, we're gonna use the RTA. And if you're wondering what these were plugged into, this was the factory sub. We were using that to demo the, the noise. Okay, so we have the RTA here. Now what we're looking for is there again, the variable voltage output. So we're gonna go ahead and start probing the wires here with our RTA. All right, so we have signal. Go ahead and turn it down, Fernando. All the way. All right, so he's turning the signal down and we're not getting any change here. So we know this particular output is not a variable voltage. All right, go ahead and turn it back up. Can you turn it up some more? Go ahead and turn it down. So as we can see, it's going up and down. Turn it up and down a little bit. So as we can see, it's turning up, it's turning down. So we know that this particular output, which happens to be the light blue red, light blue brown, 
is going to be our signal that we want to tap into. Okay, so some of you guys are out there going, hey man, I don't have a cool RTA. What do I, how do I do this? No problem. Grab a test speaker like this one. This is, we've shown you how to make a test speaker. It's basically just a factory speaker with some wires soldered onto it. And then you can use this to do the same thing. So we'll go ahead and put it into our, turn the volume up. So that'll show us which one is variable voltage. So now that we know which one it is, we're gonna go ahead and solder these wires into it so that we have a good connection and we'll attach them to the amplifier. Now, attaching them to the amplifier also brings up another. How are we gonna attach them to the amplifier? So to attach it to the amplifier, we're gonna use this guy right here, the PDL-C21. Now, this is a pack interface and this is a little different than a standard high level to low level. It'll do low level to low level as well as high level to high level. It has inputs here for low level and of course outputs here. You can also use the speaker inputs for high level or low level also. It will also generate a remote turn on for you. It has a power indicator. It also has a clip indicator which is really nice and it's got a gain control on it so that you can turn it up or down depending on the output voltage of this. This is why, you know, being able to hook up, because this is a low level output. We don't want to use a high level to low level adapter because it's not high level. If we were tapping onto the sub over here, then we'd be using a high level to low level. So we're going to go low level to low level. So go ahead and strip the wires back. And then we'll go ahead and attach our new signal wires to them. So we have the wire that we so we have the signal that we need that we can hook up to our low level to low level adapter so that we can put a subwoofer in this car. So now we're gonna go ahead and mount the amp in the corner, run all our power on grounds, get everything all finished up, and we'll take a look at the finished product. Let's snap to it being done. So we have our Rockford Prime 1200.1 installed here at a custom mount so that it's firmly mounted in this location. We have our PDL C21 all set and ready to go. Um, we're just gonna Velcro it on the inside of here so that we have access to it if we ever need it for anything. We've ran the power wire over to the battery. The amp is on. We have two P312s in the factory box. Not, well, the Rockford factory box, I should say. Uh, all set, ready to go. So, Fernando, go ahead and turn it on. All right, guys, that brings this one to a close. We hope you found this useful. So if you've got that cool fake engine noise and some ANC microphones, this is what we did to get around it. There you go. Joy. So thank you for watching. You guys can find us on Facebook, here in YouTube, and Instagram. We also do Facebook Live Monday nights at 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. Yes, sir. If you have any ideas or things you'd like to see us make videos on, just leave them in the comments. If it's good, we'll do it. If it's not good, we'll probably still do it anyways. Yeah. Why not? You, know. you guys have a great night, and we will see you later next time. Bye.